Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your custom email address on Cloudflare and how you can redirect it to the Gmail account. So let's get started. So first you have to go to your website and then to this email section. I have just switched to the new outlook so it might look a little different to you. So anyways, all you need to do is just create address. Now, now uh, you might already have created this uh, info or whatever is your webmail on your um, on your um, account, like the uh, the email provider, whatever you have your um, hosting provider. From there, you might have created that already. But here, you can uh, create it again. Now, I'm gonna tell you why it is important. Uh, so let me set it to my own I've created this definition and this and I'm um, going to verify this now now as I as I do this it says that verification email sent to idnsroy at gmail.com um, and it also says that email routing DNS records misconfigured. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is when I come here, here I see uh, verify email address. I'm gonna click here. It's very simple. Now, what it does is it verifies my email, and there are still a few more settings to do. Uh, after the email is verified. I can receive my web mails to um, I can receive my web mails to my Gmail inbox, but I still am not able to send um, from the web mail to anyone. So let me do a quick test here. Um, so here, email routing uh, misconfigured it says. Uh, let me go to this section here it says I have to delete this so I can delete it from right here I can do that and whatever it asks to add I'm gonna have to add that so let me just open up the new tab here so that it's a bit easy for me and I'm going to add all this here um, so all you do is just go to add record and then just 153 so MX add break domain name and this is going to be 53 well, this one is going to be 53. Um, and this, save it. In this way, uh, you're going to have to do the same process, the same thing for uh, there as well. I'm very quickly going to change, pause the video for a while. And then I'm going to get back. As you can see, um, I have added all the um, configurations as it had asked me no and I refresh this page um, let me just quickly refresh this so it is going to now um, as you can see here it says verified it's all good now um, this way I can receive the emails but I still I'm not able to send the emails so I'm gonna very quickly show you how we can configure it in the Gmail uh, for us to be able to send the emails through our webmail now um, let me do the testing for receiving the emails I'm gonna send it from um, here uh, let me do this real quick Sorry about the interruption. Uh, I was uh, sending 
so here let me send it the webmail and just to make sure if it goes to my uh, gmail inbox or not so i'm going to put any subject random subject here um, SD. So, uh, now let's see if it comes here or not um, as i refresh this there is nothing showing up uh, which should be showing uh, oh sorry it is still says misconfigured um, let us very quickly do the verification here um, um oh it should be enabled by now let's see if it has come to spam oh here it is uh it, it is marked as a spam so i'm mark reporting it as not spam so this is what happens sometimes it might come into the inbox as a spam now you can see i've got it from my hotmail to here right to my webmail now if i try to reply it goes from my own personal gmail i am not able to send it from the um from oh well this one i have set it for hotmail well i i'm not able to uh, send it from my webmail so how can i configure that let me very quickly show you that so what you need to do is go to um your settings and oh sorry so this see all settings and before it loads up let me very quickly here check one of the settings here in the dns um there are some records which are not very accurate these are my uh, recent ips but these are not so well it doesn't matter ftps well at this moment this is very important mail um, is proxied so it should not be now i'm going to change that just let me send email as it says so i'm going to add my info email here uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put info at info and um, um, uh, it's a okay so it, it grabs it by itself um, password. Um, and so it did not go through what i have to do here mail the nepal mail dot com this is what i have to do and now i have to do the password um so let me pause this for a while it says could not reach the server because what we have to do now is very quickly come here uh, edit this and change this change it back to dns only now i know this is going to show you a bit of uh, this kind of symbol here exposes that just don't worry about that it's not going to um, affect at all so now you can very quickly go and um, do the same thing let me pause so i have put in here it is i have put in the credentials um, and i'm trying to see if it works or not it did it didn't um okay now there's one more setting um uh, let's see if i misconfigured it what we have to do uh, we have to add one a uh, let me do that and i'm gonna put the one nine two sorry one nine one dot three three dot six seven dot four two so Oh, it's. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, sorry. What I should do here is mail that. So, 
uh, as you are creating the webmail um, on your just as I showed you here um, well you might have a different C panel it may be this one is direct admin control panel you might have a different control panel well as soon as you create it gives you some kind of settings so just make sure what it is it it shows you um, mail dot uh, whatever your domain name is and dot com and right next to it it gives the port so you have to um, well port is automatically detected as you can see here it is automatically detected here uh, you don't have to change it and this is what shows up so you have to be careful about that and here that's what you have to put let me just try this and let me turn the proxy status off and save it i hope this um well this says some kind of error here let me just uh, delete this because this is kind of useless now and let me try to save it here okay and now it got saved and well it does not show any error at this moment so now um, let's try to do the setup here let me enter the credentials and do this okay still there's some error uh, just give me a second I've entered the credentials again okay well something is not working correctly um, let me do a quick check here uh, with my, one of my working domains and let me get it right back oh it looks like I've entered this incorrectly sorry about this um, let me just fix this up now I hope it works fine um, I, have, I had just a little bit of typo in here let me very quickly do this in testing now I hope this works this is still error okay so it's just that authentication error um Okay, let me change this to SSL. Still not, let me just do. Uh, for me, it says TLS negotiation failed. Um, let me very quickly see if I can find something in the overview section. Um, let me, okay, just let me pause. Here I'm trying to create a free SSL certificate. I hope this works for my problem. Um, I'll check back and get back to you. Check and get back to you. Uh, I just uh, clicked save. Uh, these are my settings at this moment. I'm gonna test it. These are my keys. So let me very quickly check here. Uh, sorry. Uh, here. So when I click account oh I should have checked the other one by the way um I do this um, here it goes so yep so it says uh, there's a and there's an email let me very quickly check it probably here as well so this is the code that I have to use uh, so you can also do the same just make sure um, that you have SSL certificates you can do it from your own free uh, cPanel whatever you use so this is what has worked for me now whenever uh, let me very quickly show you how I can send it um, just let me check it now uh, if I click reply here it shows me 
Um, oh, sorry. So, well, okay. Anyways, let me compose a message. And I just need to make this default. If I make it default, it's going to be default. Um, so, you just saw. I have changed it. Uh, let me... Okay, this is going to come to the same email because again this this is my very own email address. Let me try sending to some other. I don't I don't know if it is going to send the send here or not. But let me just very quickly delete this. And let me delete here. Unnecessaries uh compose and now let me send to uh, my other email addresses let me think okay, yes. okay here it says i don't know why this is taking time let me refresh my whole page here maybe there's some error here okay let me try once again real quick okay it's still loading change the sender Okay, it's sent now. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna have to check the other email. Uh, this one, if I have received or not. So let's let's see. Um, here it is. So that's how you can configure the email uh, properly on the Cloudflare. And you can receive the emails directly to your gmails and you can also send the emails uh, from your gmail using your webmail accounts so thank you for watching please feel free to reach out if you have any questions thank you